Hey, what's up guys, Al Besha here. Today I'm gonna go over some autograph send outs I'm going to send out. And I'm gonna open up a, a new toy I just picked up here. And I picked up a pack of uh, baseball cards I'm gonna open. I don't think these have very many inserts in them, but I've seen other people open these up. These are pretty cool cards and I need some more up-to-date cards to send out. The uh, autograph send outs I'm going to eh, send out are um, I bought a, uh, a, a book, a book of uh, stamps the other day and as you know 20 stamps come in a book so that's 10 autographs I'm going to send out because I have to include a return envelope with those and I had nine hockey cards um, left from the ones I've been opening and packages I've been buying and this is that. So I included one football card and I'm sending out to Monte Nicholson of the Redskins. Sending a request out to him and all the other um, all the other cards are hockey like I said and I'm sending out to Jaden Jaden Schwartz, JT Miller, James Van Rimesdick, I believe that's how I say it. Alexander Steen, Kyle Palmieri Josh Bailey, Max Domi, Adam Lowry, and Louis Erickson. And the last three are um, all players in Canada, so I have to get some airmail stamps and uh, so I can send those out. But I'm going to send out 10, 10 through the mail requests, nine hockey and one football. And they're ready to go except for the airmail stamps for the uh, the Canadian players. And this uh, this toy I picked up recently, um, I've opened up another. Um, it's called the. Uh, this is the Walmart brand of the uh, line of toys, and these are the uh, small action figures. Um, they're a little bit more than three and three quarter scale, a little bit bigger, but these are the core elite first response. Um, play sets and they're actually like a vehicle and a action figure included and the one I picked up before was this um, small jet here with the the action figure sorry put a, my finger over his head right there and these are very very affordable fairly durable um, toys these are like for the action figure and the vehicle it's less than six dollars five ninety seven I believe and there's three of them on this line. The, the jet that I have already got right there, a tank with an action figure, and the one I picked up today is the helicopter with the pilot, and this is him right here. They had the tank also. They didn't have the, uh, the jet fighter. I forget what is it. They just have his name. They don't have a name for the vehicle. But um, I don't think they had that one available. And I'm kind of wondering if this line of figures has been discontinued because Walmart would um, offer a three pack of action figures with the small vehicle. And I picked one up uh, a few months ago and I have not seen them in the store whatsoever. With the spot on the shelf, their peg hook has been empty and the two or three or four Walmarts that I've been to recently. And I'm going out of my way to look for those guys. And the figures I picked up before are this guy. I forget if they had a name for this assortment. This guy. This guy kind of reminds me of a small soldier's kind of figure. And I bought it for this guy. It looks pretty, pretty intense right there. And very no articulation on this figure but the other ones are pretty articulated for the price they're very very cheap and this is the you know the vehicle that he came with vehicle or the the the, the play value piece whatever that comes with it. it's not that great um, this rocket or drone does have wings that open up yeah I believe it's a drone and it does it just does disconnect from this 
vehicle, even though it's not wheels, it's just hollow inside, just sits there. But I haven't seen these guys on the shelves whatsoever for quite a while now. And they do have other Adventure Force figures. That's the main line of the, um, the Walmart brand. And it even says only at Walmart right there. But I haven't seen these and I'm wondering if they're being discontinued. I actually went onto Walmart's website to see if they were available there. And they have play sets and trucks and things like that. But I didn't see any of these figures whatsoever offered on Walmart's website. So I'm thinking they've been discontinued. So I'm kind of wishing I would have picked up the other three pack of uh, um, action figures with the mini vehicle before. And I don't want to destroy this package, but I might have to. I've got a razor blade and it's, the stuff is so tightly packed on there, I don't want to cut the figure. Let's see if I can get them off there. I mean, these figures aren't that, um, for the price, the quality is fairly decent. Like I said, they have quite a bit of articulation. And they're very affordable. They're the non-brand name figures that Walmart provides, which is cool. Provided a lower um, price point um, option for, for just about every budget, if that's what I'm trying to say. And these figures are pretty cool. And I've said it before, you can pull up the, your, their website. I believe, I forget where it's at. You can pull up the Core HQ website. I believe that's the one. And it has um, some interactive features. You can look at the history of the, um, the figure. All these figures have bios and things like that and histories. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty interactive. and. This figure that comes with this playset comes with a uh, uh, a dog tag, which is pretty cool. So there's the figure. The one that came with the tank didn't really look that good. He's got a, a mask and a helmet on. And so that's the only reason I picked this guy today, the helicopter, was because of that. The other figure just didn't look that great. I'll probably end up getting them anyway. I'm trying not to destroy this box completely and still get the figure out there. The uh, vehicle. But I'm wondering, like I said before, if um, these things are going to be discontinued. I wonder if they're going to increase in value or anything like that. Since I haven't seen them on the shelf, or maybe they're just rebooting the, uh, the line and they're just going to update the figures and the ones, the old ones, are just not going to be available anymore. Sorry for my dogs in the background. So here's his dog tag, which is kind of cool. It gives some information. And on the back, like I said, it says the core HQ. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. But it gives a bio and his mission specialties, things like that. So it has a little extra play value, I think. It's pretty cool. They could just put a vehicle and a figure in a box and been done with it. But they, they made the effort. They're pretty cool to play with. Sorry for my dogs. They just go bananas whenever somebody gets home. Oh, I want to get this out of here. It looks like it's got some cool features. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot I needed a, uh, a screwdriver to get this out. I should have done this ahead of time, but this wouldn't really be an unboxing video now, would it? So, I've been wanting to get these out in the real world and play with them. I'm going to find a field somewhere, like with a stream and things like that. And have some fun with these things. I didn't buy them just to unbox them and send them on a shelf, even though that's what's happened. With the ones I've bought, I just don't have the time, man. It's, but I gotta make the time, right? That's the key, you gotta make the time. So yeah, this helicopter looks pretty cool. It's got some features on it I wanna check out. Plus I'll get to this package of um, baseball cards here in a second. I'm just trying not to destroy all the packaging on this. I don't want to. I don't like.
wrapped up in packages like that. It's where just people just rip rip the tape and this and that, or you could just cut it off. And be a little more civilized about it. So here's the empty package right there. And here is the helicopter. And it's got a ton of clear banding on it to keep all the wings and the props from being damaged. I'll cut all these off here. I think I have some scissors here. Sorry for the bouncing around. Got some scissors. You guys are sitting on my uh, my junk drawers shelves there. So we'll cut the banding off. And I think a lot of people don't give this line of toys any credit. I, I never see anybody review these toys. It's always the uh, the mainstays, the uh, G.I. Joe figures and things like that, Transformers. And nobody really gives these, these off-brand, store-brand figures any credit whatsoever that I've ever seen. So I dropped something on the ground, but I'm not sure what it was. So... Here's the propeller, flows freely, pretty cool, and the, um, oh, there's another band, it's got missiles on it, which is pretty cool, and like I said, Walmart offers this at a really affordable price point, and it's got some great play value, and once again, I apologize for my dogs, so you can, um, take the wings off, the, um, the missiles are separate. You can disengage the missiles. You can pop off the wings here. I, I don't know why you would want to take those off, but they made them detachable for a reason. A lot of toys nowadays do the thinking for you, especially anything electronic, digital. They do the thinking for you, and they don't let kids or encourage kids to think for themselves and imagine anything anymore, which is very depressing. I'll throw the pilot in here. The joystick actually moves. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that there. If I can. The joystick's under my finger. It's kind of hard to see right there. But it actually moves side to side, so you can stick it in his hand. I don't think it does any, has any control over anything on the helicopter, but pretty cool. You bends down in there. So yeah, there's the pilot, the helicopter. I left the banding on the on the missiles just because I don't want to lose them. I already dropped something. I'm not sure what I dropped. Oh, it's something up here on the front of the vehicle. And I don't see it. I think it went under. Oh, it's a gun that goes on the front. Sorry, let me dig that out. I heard something hit the floor. I just wasn't sure what it was. So yeah, the, the toys nowadays do all the thinking for you. And they don't encourage the, the imagination of the kids playing with the toys. And I'm just a big kid myself. So yeah, this is a gun that popped off, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can figure out. It's literally putting a round ball into a square hole. I think that's how it pops on. Yeah, and then it kind of rotates there. And I'm sure you can put his hands on the gun. Like that. So he can be in charge or control of the of the gun. He needs three hands because he's got a joystick and two hands for the controls on the gun in the front. Very cool. Very cool. At least I'm going to display these right now. And they're pretty detailed, pretty awesome for the price point, like I said before. So, yeah, and if anybody knows if these uh, individual action figures have been discontinued or why they haven't been showing up on shelves at Walmart, um, please let me know. There's a lot of other um, act, is it Adventure Force figures. There's a lot of play sets, vehicles like that, but none of the uh, the three pack action figures. So, if anybody knows why those aren't on the shelves anymore, please let me know. But onto the uh, baseball cards, 
Let's open these up. There might be some inserts in there. I haven't seen any before on the, uh, the videos I watch with other people unpackage these. So it'll give me some uh, cards to send out to other players. And there's the uh, anti-theft card. Nothing else in the bag. And these look pretty fun. Ballpark landmarks, Bernie's dugout for Miller Park, right there. I don't know if I want to go through every single card. We've got Nelson Cruz, Stat Kings, Aaron Judge, Josh Altuve, George Springer, very cool. Aaron Judge by himself. A lot of these people I haven't seen on the other packages I've opened before. Francisco Lindor. Ian Kinsler, Luis Pedromo, David Peralta, Peralta is an old skating name from the uh, 70s and 80s, Powell Peralta Skateboards, kind of kind of cool, I don't wonder if there's any relation, I doubt it, but that name's not that common, Dallas Cuchel or Cuchel, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Mitch Hanniger, J.D. Martinez, Matt Chapman, Aaron Nola, Luke Weaver, Johnny Cueto, or Sueto, I don't know how you pronounce it, Salvador Perez, Evan Longoria, one of the names I do recognize. Gary Sanchez, Danny Duffy, Carlos Martinez, Tim Beckham, bend it like Beckham, Jose Yarena, Yarena, Andrew Kashner, Kyle Schwarber, Byron Buxton. Mike Trout, Ministers of Mash, right there. Jose Altuve, looks like an insert card, but it doesn't say what it is. So pretty cool. Ahmed Rosario, gold border, or I don't know if that's gold or not, but different than the other cards. Stat Kings, Giancarlo Stanton, Nolan. Arenado, Arenado, Marcel Ozuna, pretty cool. I'm gonna send these out and see if I can get all three of these guys to autograph these with the other Stat Kings card. And Keon Broxton. So yeah, that's those. I have two Stat King cards. I'm gonna, like I guess I'm gonna send those out to see if one I can get anybody to sign them, and two if I get a return I'll send them out to the other guys also. And It'd be kind of like a little challenge for myself. I did that with another card a while back. Well, it was a football card. It was two football players that went to the same college. I forgot who it was. But I said if one guy returns it, I'll send it out to the other guy to um, to, re, uh, to autograph it. So I haven't gotten that back in the mail yet. So yeah, that's it. Some toys, some autograph send-outs, some new baseball cards to open up. And... That's it for now, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back soon. Hopefully, hopefully something shows up in the mailbox soon. I'm going to, I've been, it's been a very, very dry couple weeks, about a month actually. So hopefully this will get the wheels rolling and sending out some more autograph requests. And I've sent out dozens already. So hopefully I get something back in the mail. One or two a week would be fine. One or two a day would be awesome. So Thanks for being patient with me. This has been painful to to experience firsthand. So um, hopefully I'll have some good news next time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Later.